All right, guys, welcome back. Round three of Nyoa. Got the boys in the back. How you feeling, Brex? Good. How about you, Lex? Good. Kane's gonna do his first Nyoa. He's gonna run the DRZ70 and the, I don't know, PW class, so good for him. Looks like pretty flat parking. Uh, it was super easy to get to, actually. Like two turns off the expressway. And um, I'm looking forward to some flat parking. Oh, pan to the right. We outran that storm the whole way here. It's a pretty nasty storm. So we will see what that does. There was like a tornado warning in the mix of it, but we'll see if it's a big deal or not. So we'll get checked in and we'll go from there. I think this is the first year for this round. Sure? Pretty excited. We just crossed the train tracks. The I don't know. They say if they catch anybody on them, it's going to be a big problem. And I get it. We don't. Doesn't need to be any issues. Looks like that's scoring right there, which is cool. All the pits look like they're just like rows down through here. Oh, look how wide. There's a ton of people here. Holy smokes. So I'm going to assume we need to just pick a row and go down. Probably, probably these ones are all taken. Let's just go this way. We'll find a spot that, look how flat this is. This is like the best parking I've ever been to. So we'll find a spot and we'll be back. I can't believe how many people are here for a local race. It's wild. There's like this row after row of people. So we're gonna get the e-bikes out for the boys and um, let them go. And I don't know if we'll stay here. Maybe we'll end up down there somewhere. But uh, for now, this is our spot. I don't really want to be too close to the track because if it is dusty, we don't really need to be in the dust. So. We'll get the e-bikes out, the boys can start going. Kate and I are gonna walk the peewee cut uh, track. It's a lot shorter, so we're gonna go walk and they're gonna go get bike. All right, we're over here. This is the starting row. You can see these little tags behind Kaden and I. He is eight to nine years old, which I think is, yeah, that one right there. And so Kaden's gonna start this way and go that way in the peewee race out around the corner. You can see that storm blowing in, so we're keeping an eye on that. And look how many campers are here. This place is huge. I guess uh, Memorial Day weekend, so a lot of people are coming out to race. It's gonna be a dry one. See, I'm still painting. That is, and then across the train track, there's another huge uh, pile of campers. So big train tracks on the back side of this big field right here. So um, parking is super flat and nice. Uh, Braxton and Lex in the youth race, they start here and go that way. So youth goes that way, PB goes this way. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. You gonna go walk the kids to our PB track? Yep. All right, we're gonna start walking. What'd you find, Kay? Little snake here. Little one? Better yeah. get him off the track. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He looks like he's a gardener. Yeah, well, he's getting off. He's near all. Good job getting him off the track, bud. Yep. All right, we're getting hot. We've been walking up this hill forever. We're at the very top of whatever, well, not quite to the top. Right there is the top, but that uphill that we just walked goes forever. It's like half a mile. 80 some degrees, super muggy because that storm's blowing in. Bugs are starting to bite, huh, Kay? Oh, yeah. It's definitely bug season, like right there. So I'm going to guess halfway through his track. It's been pretty simple and easy. It's just a bunch of like ATV trails. So we'll see how it goes. We are almost back. That storm is blowing in fast and it's really, really windy. Look how dusty it is in the pits. That's just a huge dust ball going up right there. Look at that, it's wild. So we're trying to make it back before we get hammered in the rain. Our van's right ahead, so. That was track walk for the little guys. All right, Braxton just got back from his track walk. We'll call it, well, e-bike ride. How was your track walk, buddy? It was pretty good. It's pretty easy, too. It's nothing really hard. It didn't rain much either. I don't know, like the only uphill is the one at the beginning, then it's basically all downhill. Yeah, so from what we walked, it seemed more like a GNCC, right? A lot yeah. faster. It's like, it's not even off camber too. It's like pretty flat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it like, it goes up and up and up. But, um, well, so. Yeah, sure. A couple parts are off camber. It's pretty flat. We don't have like a, a way to tell many miles. How many miles? Was there mileage markers for you guys at all? Yeah, there was like, I think, I don't know, like four or five. Four or maybe. five? Oh, that's shorter. Last week was six. Yeah, it was pretty short. So it's going to be faster because it's dry and then faster because it's, you did, you were on the lead lap last week. You were 15th overall, and you guys did three laps. That's it. So I'm gonna guess four or five laps this week. Yeah, at least. Cool. Oh, Lex, Lex did it too. He's already eating dinner. Got Mama cooking for us. It's awesome. Are we making pasta, Steph? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You said yes. All right. That was Braxton's track walk. 
We're gonna have some dinner. We'll go from there. All right, guys, welcome back. You can kind of see Braxton and Lex on the e-bikes way down there, just doing some morning laps. Uh, McCoy showed up last night. Look at this, McCoy Shine. Really excited, haven't raced or ridden with him in quite a while, so glad to have him back at the races. Even if it's the first, like second ride of the year, like second actual ride, he's gonna come do a race, so pretty cool. We got Caden's bike right here, little yellow one, Lex and Braxton. Helmets are on a table right there, so little early morning preview, super foggy. Um, it's gonna be hot today. It's already pretty warm, I'm in a flannel, so. But it's gonna be warm, AC was on, at least the fan was on most of the night. I can't make my finger work, right there. So, a little morning preview, letting the boys do their morning stuff, and then we'll get to the starting line. How you feeling, buddy? Pretty good. New chest protector and everything? Yep. Does it feel okay in there? There's like, my shirt is clumped up underneath, mm -hmm. up in here. Shirt's sure clumped up under there? Mm -hmm. It'll be fine, though. I can pull it up. There we'll get it figured out. Better. How's your bike feeling, Max? Feeling really good. Really good? Yeah. I'm excited for you guys. I think it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be a good day. Caden's racing. How are you feeling, buddy? Good. Got his little bike ready, so whenever his race starts, we can drop the trailer, pull everything right out. So we're gonna have the starting line. What time is there, Braxton? It is 7.28. Well, we got 30 minutes. First turn, it's right here. It's gonna go that way. So let's get you right on the other side of that cowie. And back it up. You're good right there. Heck yeah. It's a good spot. You got a good spot right here, bud. I know. First turn, use your rear brake a little, pin it straight toward that other band, that other uh, hay bale down there. And then it's like a nice sweeper all the way around back up into those woods. It's all up there. Yeah. Well, at least you guys e-biked it, so you got an idea. Look 
Hi guys, we're waiting for Braxton and Lex to come over this hill. There's been about six kids come through. Lex is like um, eighth on the track, about 13th overall. Braxton is up to second place. He and he and third were less than a second apart coming through on the end of the fifth, fourth lap. So Braxton and this other little guy have been battling for two laps straight, less than a second apart. Braxton's up to second overall, right or second in his class, XC2. So we're just waiting for Lex to come down that hill, and then uh, also Braxton. So just want them both to come to the finish line. Oh, there's Braxton. Oh, come on, Brax. Is that the kid right behind him? Oh my gosh. Oh, Lex is right there too. Here, here. Hey, good battle. You guys, you guys battled so hard. That was so much fun to watch. That was good. You guys were all over each other. Good ride, guys. Good ride. Dude, do you know what you just got? Second. Oh my gosh. Lex, dude, what a finish. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you guys. Your little brother is already on the starting line, so I have to go over there. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in a second. Just don't leave your bikes. Maybe just pull over here. We gotta get out of the way. Let's go. Where's your bikes at? The marked course. Right there. The adult course is marked with black arrows with an orange background. How do you feel, buddy? The mini course is marked with blue arrows with a white background. And the what a battle, though. With black you guys battled so hard. You guys were together for two and a half laps straight. Like, less than a second apart. Mark. You got them, buddy. So proud of you. Was that like could the contain my ribbon? Class, I think you were 11th overall and you were 13th overall. Barriers. The exception to the 20 foot like, rule. Oh, oh man, I'm so proud of you. Really? I was third in the Did you have to stop and kick it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I had a really good start. Dude, you had a great start. I smashed up a truck. I was talking to him on the start. He ran that into me. Don't forget to shift down the straightaway. Go, buddy! He's in second. Go, Gary! Yeah, yeah, buddy! Look at you go, dude! Go, buddy. Did you do four or five laps, my buddy? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. How did you do? Good. Was it fun? Yeah. You did such a good job, Kaden. All right, we gotta get out of here though, so let's go that way. All right, guys, we're here at the pro start. Adult start, got McCoy. Second ride of the year. Probably pretty noisy right now. Not sure if you'll hear us. YZ250. How you feeling, buddy? Good, excited. It's nice and warm out. I like the heat. You like um, it? Okay, good. Good. Should be fun. Now we get arm pump off the start, and then uh, that's what's good about these wood races. You can lose it pretty quick. So. Oh, good. I'm going to pitch you by the start, though. Come on, finish. Yep, awesome. We'll go from there. He's pretty fast that way. He goes down the road. He's going.
last names. I don't get it. McCoy's the winning. That's so insane. McCoy hasn't written all year. One in, one in 258. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, buddy. In our vintage class, Ryan Cassia Alright guys, just got home from the Niowa. Got Lex's bike and Braxton's bike both cleaned up. And uh, we use our steam cleaner, it's cheating. It's right there in the background. But uh, shout out to McCoy. We left a little early. He did, um, we, we stayed for his pit stop. Did two more laps after we left. He finished 13th overall out of 394 guys and top amateur. He's ridden once this year. So straight off the couch. So congrats to McCoy. Thank you for always uh, giving us a shout out on the podium. That's awesome. And then Braxton had a great ride. Second in XE2. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Track was pretty flowy. There was only a couple like deep mud spots or it was just like slippery rock and roots. Yeah, so good ride by Braxton. And Lex, eighth, that's your best ride ever in YXC1? Yeah. That's a stack class, dude. I know, they're so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are both so close to that next level. There's oh, a couple be, kids that you guys 11, are- 11, 13 overall. Yeah, 11th overall, 13th overall. So, so close to cracking the top 10. I think it's doable. I think uh, eh, mid-summer they'll be there, so. We're gonna park these bikes for the week. They're gonna ride some 125s. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. That's the end of this one. Enjoy the ride.